So my name is Robert Verhelst. Uh, I'm a blockchain engineer and infrastructure engineer at Settlement. Uh, my name is Salvatore. I'm um, responsible of commercial activities for settlements uh, that involve uh, direct sales, indirect sales, but also partnerships. We are a blockchain as a service platform. So what we do is that we help companies that have some kind of blockchain initiative. Um, we help them with a tool that we provide that is called Settlements. And the tool has different layers of features from uh, infrastructure so like the node hosting part um, and also where are you going to host it? Uh, is it going to be well hosted by typically AWS, Google Cloud, Azure or is it going to be on-prem and this is where replicated comes in the picture. Um, second layer is like smart contract templates for different use cases. Then we have middleware, uh, integration tools, private keys. So basically it's one stop shop for anything you need uh, for your uh, blockchain project. I would say you have two different type of persona first. Uh, it's either tech people that use us as a tool. So typically developers or blockchain developers that needs to find a tool that will help them to deploy and deliver faster. Second type of persona are business people that are not really user of the tool, but see us more as, well, uh, a company or, or someone that can help them to achieve their, their blockchain initiative. I mentioned about the persona type, so about the tool, but now maybe about the industry and the type of use cases. You have all the uh, financial sector, so FSIs with uh, bank and insurance. Uh, mainly it's about tokenization of assets or automation. A certain big type of customer and categories, uh, anything related to supply chain. Uh, so for tracking and tracing some goods in an immutable way, in a trusted way, a verifiable way. Third big type is, uh, well, you may have heard about NFTs. So that's a big, big buzzword, I would say. But we use NFT more in a cor corporate concept, meaning that NFT use either as a product passport or as a tool for a digital experience. And the fourth one is, I would say, the public sector. So in the public sector, you have identity management, data management, voting system.